Hi everybody and welcome back. This is the Geek of Control Engineering. Throughout this video, I am going to detail the LQG controller and then, I will introduce an example on how to utilize the LQG controller to track a desired reference. Before jumping into the subject, I need to state that most of the materials that will be presented in this video have been taken from the Great Book of Multivariable Feedback Control, Analysis and Design, which is written by Sigurd Skogstad and Dian Pussel Ethwaite. Linear Quadratic Gaussian or LQG control is a modern control technique for designing optimal regulators or servo controllers. Integral action that known as set point trackers can be involved in the design process easily where it enables the LQG controller to track a given reference. Thus, the user is allowed to trade off between regulation or tracking performance and control effort. In addition, the controller can take into account process disturbance and measurement noise as well. In traditional LQG control, it is assumed that the plant dynamics are linear and known, and that the measurement noise and process noise are stochastic with known statistical properties. This is realized as WP and WMR process noise and measurement noise, respectively. These noises are usually assumed to be uncorrelated with zero mean Gaussian stochastic processes and have constant power spectral density matrices W and V. The main goal of the LQG control problem is to find the optimal control U of T that can minimize the following integral cost function on both states of the process as well as the involved control actions. As you can notice, the LQG controller considers the expected value of the cost J. This is because we are dealing with stochastic process control here. In this cost function we have. Q and S are appropriately chosen constant weighting matrices that are used as design parameters. Q and S matrices are chosen such that they are symmetric, that is both the matrix and its transpose are equal. In addition, Q is chosen to be semi-positive definite matrix, that is the eigenvalues of Q is equal to or greater than zero, while S is a positive definite matrix. The name LQG arises from the use of a linear model, an integral quadratic cost function, and Gaussian white noise processes to model disturbance signals and noise. The solution to the LQG problem, known as the separation theorem, is surprisingly simple and elegant. It consists of first, determining the optimal control to a deterministic linear quadratic regulator, or LQR problem, namely, to define above LQG problem but without WP and WM noises. The solution to this problem can be written in terms of a simple state feedback law as shown below. The K is a constant matrix which is easy to compute and it is clearly independent of the statistical properties of the plant noises. But, when the state sex are not available or not measurable, we need to replace them by their estimate x hat. Thus, the next step would be finding an optimal estimate of the process. The optimal state estimate is given by a Kalman filter which is independent of matrices Q and S defined in the cost function. At this point, we can see that the LQR problem is designed independently from the involved noise, while the Kalman filter is designed independently from the cost function of the LQR. This is the main contribution of the separation theorem. We, therefore, see that the LQG problem and its solution can be separated into two distinct parts, as illustrated in following. We have the process subjected to the process and measured noises. When a control action is applied to the process, a corresponding output is resulted. When both applied control action as well as the produced output are fed into the Kalman filter, the filter determines an estimate of the process state. This state is, then, utilized by the LQR controller to produce the required control action. The next few slides will now give the equations necessary to find the optimal state feedback matrix K and the Kalman filter gain KF. 
starting with the optimal state feedback controller. The LQR problem, where all the states are known, is the problem of minimizing the following deterministic index of performance that is subjected to the process dynamic. For any initial state, the optimal solution is U of T equal to minus K by the state X of T. The gain matrix K is given by where P is a symmetric and semi-definite matrix. P is computed from the algebraic Riccati equation as shown. Now let us show the equations involved in the Kalman filter computations. The Kalman filter has the structure of an ordinary state estimator or observer with dynamic given as. The optimal gain of the Kalman filter Kf minimizes the expected value of the quadratic difference between the stator and its estimate. This gain is given as. The matrix gain Y is as the gain matrix P and it is the solution of the following Riccati equation alike equation. The combined optimal state estimation and optimal state feedback is simply the LQG problem. The state space realization of the LQG controller, from the output Y to the control action U, is. Here, it is assumed that the LQG has a positive feedback control action of KLQG multiplied by the estimate of the state. Note that, the LQG controller has the same degree or same number of poles as the plant. Now, as we have known the definition as well as the involved equations in the LQG problem, I can introduce the tracking LQG. For the LQG controller, it is not easy to see where to position the reference input R and how integral action may be included. One strategy is illustrated in the following figure. Given that we have a reference R and we want the output of the process Y to track this reference, we can simply integrate the control error R minus Y and then the regulator K is designed for the plant augmented with these integrated states. For all presented topics, I am going to introduce an example. Let us have the following transfer function, where we want to regulate its output to some desired reference. As can be observed, this transfer function has a zero at plus 0.5. This means that we have a non-minimum phase system. As shown by the figure, a non-minimum phase system response is compared with the response of a typical system. Here, the response of the non-minimum phase system has an initial inversion, meaning that the process starts moving away from its ultimate value. The output, eventually, heads in the direction of the final steady state. This imposes a fundamental limitation on the control strategy used to control this type of processes. Here, high controller gains will induce closed loop instability. Have you observed that? Even the geek is confused. Let me remove the confusion from him and draw that happy face again by introducing the MATLAB script. For the presented example, the MATLAB code for designing an LQG controller with integrators is given as following. The first portion of the code introduces the process through its transfer function. This is given by the numerator and denominator followed by the state space realization, and ends up with defining the system size for later use. In the second portion of the code, we are going to design the LQR controller. But before that, we are augmenting the process dynamic with integrators, and then, defining the cost function matrices Q and S. Here, I am replacing the matrix S with R just to follow the original code. The final step is designing the LQR controller through the MATLAB function LQR. Note that, in order that this function works, you need to have the control toolbox installed in advance. After the gain matrix K is computed, we need to extract the integrator and state feedback sub-gains from it. This is shown by the last line where we have now gains KP and KF for later use. The third portion of the code presents the design of the Kalman filter. Prior to this design, we need to introduce the noise as well as the noise weights. 
The Kalman filter is designed via the MATLAB function Kalman as shown in the last line, where the filter gain is given by KF. Now, let us jump into another part of the code, where we are going to combine both LQR controller and Kalman filter. This is shown by the first portion of this part of the code. Note that, we are using the following relation, which we have seen in the previous slides, in the realization of the KLQG. Please pay attention to the followings. The item minus B by KI is the integrator gains. The second following item, which is A minus B by KP minus KF by C, is the first item in the LQG gain as illustrated by the yellow box. I think. I do not need to explain how the second item in the first row of the LQG gain matrix is designed. For the first item in the second row, however, I need to say that we need both integrator and state feedback gains to define this item as shown by the green box. The last item in the second row is zero, as we have zero matrix D from the state space realization of the given transfer function. As we have realized the calc UG gain in the matrices AC, BC, CC, and DC, now we need to formulate this matrices as state space representation. This is given by the last line as well. This last step is not needed, but it is given anyway. The second portion of this part of the code shows how to combine the process with the computed LQG gain. The first line is the state space realization of the process where it is assumed it has two outputs. The second line does the same but with the LQG gain. The last line, however, generates the feedback interconnection of the two above models. Finally, in the third portion of this part of the code, we are forming the closed loop transfer function from the given reference R to the two outputs Y and U. The first line partitions the controller B matrix into BC1 which is for the reference R, and BC2 which is for the process output Y. I think the following lines are clear. The last part of the code is where we simulate our designed LQG controller with the given process transfer function. This is done through the MATLAB function step as shown by the second line. Running this code. You will have the following figure, in which you can see the responses of both process output Y, as well as the applied control action produced by the LQG controller U. The response of the process is good, where we can see some deviation in the opposite direction in the first portion. This is because of the non-minimum phase behavior of the process. But, eventually. The output approaches the desired reference which is the unit step. Our geek is surprised and happy. You can download a copy of the code from the book website. A link is given in the description. It was helpful. Please like, subscribe and see you in another video.